Ollie, what a day. Just uh, give us your emotions um, now you've had a little time to let it sink, sink in. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't think it's quite sunk in yet. Um, what a day, yeah. Um, you know, I, I put a lot of work in to get back to this place and uh, I felt really good going out there and relatively in control and didn't get off to the greatest of starts, um, but just hung in there. And then I, I had four chances inside, like 10 feet and missed every one. And I'm thinking like, you know, this is not gonna be my day here. Um, but I just hung in there um, and made things happen on the back nine. So I'm really proud of myself. I think that's the biggest emotion I've got right now. You know, I'm excited, I'm, I'm pumped for figuring out what it all means. But to be exempt again is uh, it means the world to me, and uh, yeah, it was just a crazy day. You know, I missed a bunch of short chances and then hold two bombs, and had a horseshoe lip out on a chip. You know, it was it was kind of up and down. I was trying to keep quite relatively calm and, and even keel, and managed to hold a couple. You know, hold one good one on 16, and and then obviously 17 set me up, but. Around this golf course, you never know what's going to happen. So you've hit that 18th tee shot, um, and I probably hit the best shot of the day down there. Absolutely ripped it down there. So uh, the way I finished and the way I got got it done means the world to me. So I'm pretty happy. The way you played a tee to green on the front nine, how patient did you have to stay when you, you saw those putts keep slipping by? Yeah, very. Um, you know, I had chances, loads of chances, um, and the rest of the week I've putted well, um, and today. I just wasn't read. I, I hit some bad putts early on, and then I hit good putts. I just couldn't read them right. Um, but I was really well. I wasn't surprised, but I was hitting the ball so well and giving myself so many chances. Kind of just stay patient, stay patient. Um, and yeah, I, I did that. And then I hit the worst shot of the day into uh, um, 13 and hold it. And that was a great putt I hit there, uh, dead weight. So that kind of just got me going a bit. I kind of knew I was right right in there then with the short par four coming up and, and made a bit of a mess of that. Um, and then again, a couple of chances, didn't take them and then managed to just sort of summon something to get one in on 16. Um, and then 17 was, you know, a little fortunate, great putt, but a little fortunate to get that one in, like I said, and then an 18. So it was um, it was an awesome day. Without being too negative, was there a moment of doubt that you wouldn't be able to get it done um, in that round? Yeah, I, I would say, um, you know, I made a great par on five um, after hitting it in the water. So that was, you know, disappointing because that's kind of a birdie. It's a gimme birdie, really. Um, but that was a good par save. And then I had, like I said, I had, had four chances inside 10 feet. And after I missed all four, I was like, you know, kind of this is not the way to get to get it done um, but I kept telling myself you know like I've been out here since 2005 and you don't get many chances to win um, and with me and my team we've we've discussed what my goals are and, and I want to win a lot of tournaments and in order to win a lot of tournaments you've got to get into contention a lot um, because you, it's very hard to take advantage every time you did so I kept telling myself I've got to take advantage of this you know I can't let this slip by um, we play the game to win and I try to push it a little bit on the back um, and it ended up working um, but yeah I, I, uh, I just I really didn't want to let it slip and I, I needed to win I needed to get over the line um, to validate all the work I've put in over the last however long however long you want to go back you know it's been it's been very up and down but um, to get over the line the way I did it and feeling so calm with it and the way I, I played all week um, means the world. I'm massively proud of myself. How important was experience a factor today, do you feel? Um, I, yeah, I guess. I don't know. It's very hard to label. You know, I, I played great. I played really well all week. I swung the club well. I did everything pretty well. Um, and, yeah, you know, I just, I guess there's experience in there. I've been doing it a long time. Um, what was probably the most pleasing was how calm I was able to stay in those moments. You know, it was getting a little bit frustrating. But then when I hold, you hold a bomb like that on the, on the back nine on Sunday, you know, the, the adrenaline starts surging. 
um, and you know that on uh, on four, four, 13, 14, um, and then on 17, 16 and 17, it was like okay, game on here. Um, so it, it was fun. It's it's hard to enjoy it on a Sunday. Uh, it's hard to enjoy it any day because it you know it means so much. But um, when you do things like that, that's what we do it for, you know. So it means the world, and it's uh, it's a lot of fun when that happens. 13 got you going. Just talk us through the, the, the last three holes, especially when you're under the gun, when you needed to make birdies. Yeah, well, I hit a great shot into 15 to like eight feet and missed it, misread it. So I'm like, <laughs> can't keep missing chances like that. I birded 16 every day leading, coming into it. So, you know, the little, <laughs> the little gremlin on my shoulder is like, well, you're not going to birdie it again. Um, so I hit a great shot in, got myself a really good opportunity and I managed to read that one great. So knocking that in suddenly, like I said, got, got the adrenaline going um, and got me right in the hunt. Um, and I was trying to be a bit too cute on my tee shot on 17, keeping it down the right and, and pushed it into the rough, which left me an awful shot in. I was worried about flyer. Um, so I, was, I hit it a bit heavy into the green, but to hold that, you know, like I was just trying to two put and get out of there. I don't know how long it was, 60 feet or something, but um, to hold that on on 17 um, was awesome. You know, that, that kind of, I didn't know exactly my position. I knew I was right in the mix, but I knew, um, I was thinking I might need a birdie on 18. But you know, that tee shot is, uh, it's brutal. You know, it's, it's probably, you know, in off the right is a nicer win to play it in than uh, what I've played it in the past, but it's still a tough tee shot. Um, and I hit the best one of the day, absolutely ripped it down there. Um, so that was that was pleasing. It kind of get the disasters out of the way, um, and then, like I said earlier, um, I was a little bit in between clubs on the last. Um, but Pete was ab my caddy um, was fantastic. He he just said no messing around. Solid eight, just you know, pick your line. Solid eight, commit to it. It's perfect club, and I did, and I hit a lovely shot. Um, so that, yeah, you know, coming in, I, I hit a good shot into the 18th, and I kind of wanted to try and enjoy the moment. Um, but it's hard, you know, you've got a lot of thoughts going on um, and then I'm not going to get away from them. So um, I try to just stay calm and compose and, and get the job done. Um, but it's, it's pretty special to win here. I do love it here. Um, I've done well here in the past and I think it's a cracking golf course. It asks different questions than a lot of the courses we play normally. Um, I think that plays into my uh, wheelhouse. So, yeah, pretty excited. It's been quite a journey since you last won on the DP World Tour. Just describe what this means to you. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't probably don't have the right words at the moment. Um, like I said, I'm I'm really proud. It, 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 when I won in 2014, I was in a very different place. I was struggling. I was ready to give up back then. And I got over the line, and it was a bit of a flash in the pan. Like I, I played great, got the job done, but my game wasn't really that great. It was more just got lucky that it hit at the right time at the right tournament and around the right golf course. I mean, I struggled for a couple of years after that, and and lost my card, and then then got it back. So it's been very up and down, but I, I kind of reinvented my game in like 2019, I guess 2019, 2020, or 2018, 2019. Um, I, I wasn't playing the golf. I wasn't being the golfer I wanted to be. I wanted to be, I knew I was capable of more and I, I was hitting driver off the deck, just getting it in play. Um, but that wasn't how I wanted to play golf. Um, so I got longer, stronger, um, and tried to figure out how I can become better and get over the line and win more tournaments because that's ultimately what I want to do. Um, and through COVID, I managed to do that and I, I put on a lot of club head speed. Um, I figured a lot of things out with my game. I've got more clarity than I've ever had. Um, and again, like I said earlier, I, I, whilst my results don't look great this year, there's been a lot of good stuff. I just haven't quite put it all together. Um, and this week I did. Um, and it it validates the work I've done, my team, the guys, you know, with everybody that I'm working with at the moment, uh, I mentioned them earlier, uh, Carl, Greg, Rob, Pete, um, those guys have put so much time and effort in with me and they genuinely have believed I could get back to this point and I'm not sure I did. I, I think I did. I certainly said I did um, and I wanted it to happen and I, I knew at, at times I felt like I could but this game tests you, you know, mentally, emotionally, um, and I wasn't sure I could get over the line. I knew if I could get in position, I was capable, but it's not easy to get into condition, into um, into the mix on Sunday. So 
Um, it feels good. It feels it's validating. Proud of myself um, and excited for what's ahead. Really. Congratulations, Ollie. Thank Enjoy you. Enjoy it. Cheers. Cheers. Well